And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, flow of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, none and at all of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners. None and at all of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is none and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Open your mouth and begin to bless you. Father in heaven, thank you. Cry Jesus, thank you. Thank you for Zion Ministry. Thank you for future director, Evangelist Ebukobi. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for all our ministers here. Thank you, Father, for all the Zionites all over the world. Thank you in our condition. Thank you for the year 2024. We thank, you thank you for the sinners. Blessed be your name for your healing and deliverance. We adore you. Thank you, Father. You are so good. You, are so you never kind. failed. I you, you never disappointed. Abba thank you, Father, Elohim. You so good. Thank you, God of mercy. Thank you for your deliverance. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the word of God says that all have sinned. I'm falling short of the glory of God. I want you to go into yourself and ask God for mercy. Father, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Go into yourself. Know the for I have sinned against you. 
Father, in humility and in sincerity, I ask for your pardon. I am very sorry. Forgive all my faults. Forgive all my mistakes. Father, whatever I did, and my family, all I have done that is evil before you. My father's house. Father, forgive me. Mercy, O oh God. Mercy, O oh God. Let your son all over the world. We ask for mercy. Papa. That your mercy, O oh God, will try your father's judgment in our lives. Ah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Obiti wa reti wa nanke gwe pia re gwe pia chineke ome ma obiti wa reti wa nanke gwe pia re gwe pia chineke ona ye ne da ya nyo ga ye ne da ya nya obiti wa leti wa Thank you, we are here as a promise upon your people. Father, we are very sorry in Jesus' name. Amen. Upon our sins, we play the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Come Holy Spirit, us. welcome. My senior partner, I welcome you. The power of God, welcome. The unction to function. I welcome the fourth you. man in the fire, welcome. I welcome you, the power of The wind of God, welcome. I welcome you, Holy the Ghost. Energizer. The energizer. The comforter. The weakness. The helper. I welcome you. Come into my, my life teacher. to help me. Have your way in my life. Possess me. I disappear with holiness and righteousness. I decrease that you with the humility and humbleness. I need you. I welcome you. I desire you. Come and reign, Holy Ghost, and reign forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. We welcome you, our strength in weakness. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we come against kingdoms. Father, in your we name, we stand against every negative spirit. We stand against every spiritual attachment. We scatter them by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any forces of darkness. Wherever they may rise, in anywhere they are walking against us, let them be scattered by fire. Every activities of the enemy, every forces from the pit of hell. In any way they are attacking us and walking against us, may they be scattered by fire. May they be destroyed by fire. Holy Ghost. 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 Fire. The Holy Ghost. Fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, you are all welcome. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And wherever you are, I want you to begin to share. Begin to share, begin to share, begin to share. As you share, may the Lord bless you beyond measure. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' most powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The topic before us tonight says, Divine supply. Divine supply. Divine supply is a provision or supply that is beyond human scope. Divine supply is a supply that is beyond the scope of human labor, wisdom, expertise, or knowledge, supernatural supply or provision that is inexhaustible. 
or unfinished or that can run out. Divine supply. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Please, I want somebody to help me and read the book of Philippians 4, verse 19. Philippians 4, 19. And with all his abundant wealth, through Christ Jesus, my God will supply all your needs. My God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. My Lord will supply all your needs. I don't know how many people that believe with their whole hearts that the Lord will supply all their needs. I don't know if you believe that. That this God is capable of seeing you through. Of supplying you all in need. The Lord will supply all I need according to his riches in glory. I don't know if you are in need of anything. Are you in need of anything? Yes, sir. Because some people don't even know if they are in need of anything. You will ask some people now, are you in need of this thing or anything? They don't know. They don't know what they need. Unless you begin to ask them and remind them. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. In the book of John chapter 1, Bible recorded, book of John, sorry, book of John chapter 5, from 1. It's recorded that a man was lied in that place, in the pool of Bethsaida, for good that eight years. He was there waiting for healing because at a certain season, the angels of God will come down and stir the water. And the any man or woman, anybody that first enter that water will receive his or her healing. And that man staying there for good at eight years. The Bible says that when Jesus came and asked him, what do you want? He don't really know what he wants because instead of saying, I need healing, I want you to heal me. I want the power of God to touch me. He was complaining that he has been here for a very long time, helplessly waiting. Even before he will try to enter the water, another person will face him and enter the water. He has been here for good 38 years. He don't know that the solution giver, the master himself, was the one asking him. And instead he goes straight to the point to tell the solution giver that I want my healing. I'm in need of healing. I have been here since. I am needed someone to heal me. And he was giving excuses. The reason why he will not be healed. And the master, by his goodness and mercy, asked him, get up, take your mat, and go. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Because he was confused. He don't know what he wants. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. And we still have another man. That even before the master stopped for him, praise the living God. Please, sister, I want you to help me and read the book of Mark chapter 10 from, 20, from 46 to 51. Mark chapter 10, 46 to 51. They came to Jericho, 
And as Jesus was living with his disciples and a large crowd, a blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting by the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout. He began to shout. Jesus, son of David, take pity on me. Jesus, son of David, take pity on me. Have mercy on me. Many of the people scolded him and told him to be quiet. Many of the people shouted on him and asked him to be quiet. Oh, you man, be quiet. Shut up your mouth. You are disturbing the master. But he shouted even more loudly. He shouted the more. Son of David, take pity on me. Son of David, take pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. Mm. So they called the blind man. Cheer up, they said. Get up, he is calling you. He threw off his cloak, jumped up and came to Jesus. He threw out his cloak and jumped out to Jesus because he knew what he wanted. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. Teacher, the blind man answered, I want to see again. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Many people wanted to stop him. They shouted on him. But this man refused. Because he's in need, he was in need of healing. He needed the master to heal him. And he did not even answer those people. Shouting on him. Why are you disturbing the master? If you want to take a good mood, move sometimes. A giant step. You see that some people would like to stop you. Sometimes you don't need to listen to people around you. Because if the man, this blind man, listened to those people shouting on him, he would have not got his healing that moment or that day. But immediately they shouting on him. Shut up your mouth. Why are you disturbing the master? Instead of this man being quiet, Bible recorded he shouted the more. He shouted the more. Oh, you son of David, have mercy on me. Because he was in need of healing and because of his action, Jesus said, call him. And then went to him and said, he is calling you. The master is calling you. The miracle worker is calling you. His condition and his child draw the master's attention. Jesus could not go further because this man's voice was greater or higher than the voice of everyone there. Because Bible recorded that the multitude, many people are following him. Where you see a multitude, there must be shouts. People will be shouting. People will be praising him. But this man's voice was louder than the one of every one of them. Only single man, but his voice was louder than the voice of the whole crowd. And his voice drew the master's attention. And he said, what do you want? And the man said, I am in need of healing. I want to see again. I want my eyes to be open again. And the master said, this is a man of faith. And immediately, he received his sight. That is the man that knows what he wants. The other man was giving excuses. The reason he could not be healed or receive his healing. But this one know by himself that I need healing. And immediately the master asked him, what do you want? He said that I may see, that I may receive my, heart, my sight. And the Jesus healed him. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Many are in need of a lot of things. 
I don't know what we are in need of. Many people may don't have anything to eat. Many families cannot even eat two times in a, in, in a day. Many people can no longer find it funny because of hardship. Many people can no longer train their children because of hardship, because of no money. When they lose their right, they lose their left. There is no hope. There is no help anywhere. They are in need of many things, a lot of things. They are in need of healing. The issue of eating, many cannot even boast of eating two square meals. Many children are hungry. Many homes are hungry. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. But this type of people, this kind of people, the Lord is going to look at you. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7, something happened there. Please, sister, I want you to help me and read very fast. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 4. 1 to 7. 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 to 7. The widow of a member of a group of prophets went to Elisha and said, the, window, the, the widow of a member of the wife of the prophet, her husband was one of the prophets. Sir, my husband has died. And as you know, he was a God-fearing man. A God-fearing man. But now, a man he owed money to has come to take away my two sons. This man serving God, but he, he was not able to. Even to he feed his family. He was poor. Poverty is the, is the second name of this man. Please read on. He has come to take away my two sons as slaves in payment for my husband's death. Imagine. What shall I do for you, he asked. What shall I do for you? Tell me, what have you got at home? Nothing at all except a small jar of olive oil, she answered. Go to your neighbors and borrow as many empty jars as you can, Elisha told her. Then you and your sons go into the house, close the door, and start pouring oil into the jars. Set each one aside as soon as it is full. So the woman went into her house with her sons, closed the door, took the small jar of olive oil, and poured oil into the other jars as her sons brought them to her. When they had filled all the jars, she asked if there were any more. That was the last one, one of her sons answered. And the olive oil stopped flowing. Hallelujah. She went back to Elisha, the prophet, who said to her, Sell the olive oil and pay all your debts, and there will be enough money left over for you and your sons to live on. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. He will fill my cups to overflow as the Lord commanded me. Bring him many, not a few. He will fill my cups to overflow with the Holy Ghost and power. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the widow went to Elisha and said, As you know, that my husband was the one of the prophets. And now he died. And those people that he was owing, they are here to take my children. Elijah said to her, what do you want? What are you in need of? What do you want me to do for you? And the woman said, as you can see, look at my condition. Look at my situation. Look at what I'm passing through. And these people want to take my children. What do you have? Just a little oil. Just very oil, very small oil. And Elijah said, go and borrow vessels, containers. Borrow vessels, even from your neighbors. 
and she went and borrowed. As he locked, she locked the door with her children. And the oil was going. The oil was multiplying. The oil was multiplying until she said to one of the sons, Is there any more vessels? And he said, No. And immediately the oil stopped. That is also the power of tongue. Immediately the son said, No. The oil stopped. And she went back to Elisha and told Elisha what happened. He said, Go and sell the oil. The remaining one, leave, with, leave it with your children. Use it to continue your living, continue your life. The remaining one, use it to enjoy your life. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. People in need of food. And the law supply what that woman and her children needed at that point of time, even more. To keep them living on. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 6. The word of God told us about the famine in Samaria. The people of God were hungry. There was a great famine. The people, at, even the women there, are eating their children. You know how women love their children. You know how close women are to their children. But it has gotten to a time that they could no longer bear it. Women could no longer stay without eating their children. It was terrible. They were in need of it. They can no longer eat. And they started eating their children. It was terrible in that land. And this thing got to king. And king said that if I see Elijah, Elijah, I will cut off his neck. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. And in the book of that second Kings chapter 7, something happened that Elijah said that by this time tomorrow, the Lord will do mighty things. Something great will happen. There will be miracle. Amen. There will be supply. Amen. There will be divine surplus Amen. in this land. And the man said that it is impossible. Are you, go are you telling me that by this time tomorrow, that these people that have nothing to eat today, we have surplus. And the man said, no. This thing can never be. This can never happen. I don't believe you, man of God. What you are saying, I think you, you, you are dreaming. I think you don't know what you are saying. I think you, 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 you have drunk. It's impossible. This thing can never be. And some of us may doubt the voice of God. The Lord was the one speaking through the, his servant, Elisha. And this man that said him, that he can never be. Oh, you man of God, why are you lying? Oh, you man of God, why are you telling us what is not possible? Why are you deceiving us, man of God? Mali Bozunda. And Elisha said, that this thing will happen. And you hear it. You will hear it. And you will not eat from it. And this thing happened. The law used something that is not important to do great work in this land. Bible recorded that. The four lepers, you know, lepers are not qualified. I don't know what makes you not qualified. To receive the blessing of God. Or to be in the midst of the people of God. These four lepers, they were cast out of the city. They were sitting there being hungry. They cannot even help themselves. And they said, why are we sitting here? 
We are dying by hunger. Let us go to the to, to the our enemies, the Syrians. Let us go there. If they will kill us, let them kill us. But let us just take this a giant step. Let us just take this a great move and see what God can do. And the Bible recorded that these people were going. They were taking a, a, a giant step because they have said, even if we will die, let these people kill us. Instead of sitting down outside the gate of the city and die here, let us make a move and see. And the Bible recorded that as these four lepers were going to the country of Assyria, these their enemies, and God the Almighty used them to do what no man can do. These Assyrians, they begin to hear another voice entirely. The voice of war is what they were hearing. And they ran away. God used these four lepers to make them run away. They were thinking that people are coming to fight them. And the Lord gave his people victory. And there was surplus. There was food everywhere. There was food. People are eating and drinking. And immediately the news came to the people of the land of Samaria. And people, they are, they are running there to go and see. And that man that doubted the man of God, they marched him and he died there. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. The Lord will supply all my need. The Lord will supply all your need. Amen. According to his riches in glory. Amen. Because there is nothing he cannot do. He's the God himself. The book of, of as of apostle says that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. And he was going around and doing good. He was setting the captive free. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth. Are you living in poverty? Abject poverty. The word of God says, that these people, if we are in need of prosperity, Deuteronomy 8.18 says that this God can make a poor man suddenly and instantly rich. I don't know what we are in need of. I want to tell you that the mighty God is here Amen. to supply you that thing that we are in need of. Amen. When Elizabeth was old, and also in need of child. The Lord gave her John the Baptist. Likewise Hannah. And many other people in the Bible. The Lord supplied them their need. Those in need of children. The Lord supplied them. Are you in sorrow? There are many people. That they are no longer happy. In their life. Every day they are mourning. But the word of God is saying that these people, if you are in need of happiness, you are in need of joy. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 30, verse 5, the sorrow men do of a night, but joy comments in the morning. My brothers and sisters, this is the time of your joy. The joy comments in the morning. The joy comments in the morning. The word of God says in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 15 and 17. That the Lord says a sound heard in a rama and a sound of bitter weeping. Rachel was crying for her children. Rachel was crying. Stop! Cry out. 
stop crying and wipe away your tears. I don't know that which make you cry. The word of God saying tonight, are you in need of being happy, being joy? Wipe away your tears. This is word of consolation. What are you in need of? Wipe away your tears, child of God. Wipe away your tears. Those that have lost hope in life, are you in need? Kala Bazunda. The Lord is the mighty restorer. He will restore your hope. He will supply you all in need according to his riches in glory. Are you in need of job? Which type of job are you in need of? The Lord is here, the mighty giver. He's here to give you that thing you need. That good job you need. Don't use how things is now. To compare how your tomorrow will be. Don't compare your today to tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow will work on your favor. Since you are in need of a good job, the God is here to supply you that good job you need. Amen. Are you in need of husband or wife? The word of God saying, I will supply you. Amen. Anything you are in need of. The master himself is here. The master of all hopeless cases is ready to supply you what you need. Those that need a good woman, not just woman. We have a lot of women. But how many can be a good wife? Likewise, a lot of men. But how many can be a good husband? As you need a good wife, a good husband, the Lord will give it to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Some families that don't, log, that don't have peace again, they don't have peace. The Lord is here to give this family peace. Amen. Many families don't have peace. Fighting everywhere. Quarreling everywhere. No peace. Are you in need of peace? Is your family in need of peace? The Lord is here to give you peace. Amen. To give this family peace. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is nothing God cannot do. Yes, Lord. Those people that need restoration, the word of God says in the book of Jewel, chapter 2, that he will restore that which canker worm and locusts have eaten. I don't know what canker worm and locusts have eaten in your life, but the master is here. If you are really in need of restoration, he that said that he will supply you all your need according to his riches and glory, is here to do it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anointed with Holy Ghost and power, and restoring health, those people that are sick, and you are in need of healing, the master is here Amen. to supply it for you, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray that whatever you need of, anything you are in need of, that the Lord will give it to you Amen. according to his riches in glory Amen. in Christ Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless his words in our hearts. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Divine supply. Into my heart, come into my heart, come in to stay, come in to stay, into my heart, Lord Jesus, into my heart. Into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. 
Jesus. Coming to stay. Coming to my heart. Lord Jesus. Welcome him. Let him come into your heart. I welcome you, the master. Let him into come my heart. into your life. I welcome you. Let him my come, heart, my master, into your family. The master of all. Let blessings. him come in into your business. I welcome you in my heart, O oh Lord. Let it come. I welcome you in, my in your business, marriage, in my family. I for welcome conception. You. I welcome you Let in come silence of Jacob into your in life of office for promotion your all over the world. Let him come. I welcome you the into your business for prosperity. I welcome you Let him come away into your life for the healing. Master himself. I welcome you into the life of the sick ones. For divine healing. We welcome you, O Lord. We welcome you, the mighty defender. We welcome you, the El Shaddai. The Elohim and the Lord. You are welcome. You are a great God. You are a great God. All I know. All I know. You are the great God. Great God. You are the great God. You are the great God. All I know. Tell the Lord to show you the way. Jesus. You don't know the way. He's the only way that knows the way to the up. He's the only one that knows the way Father, to prosperity. I don't know the way. He's the only way that knows the way to the oh life. Oh my God. Tell God I to show you the way. The way. Jesus, Father, the please. Show he me says, the I am way. the way, the truth, I am, and the life. Show me the way. That God. no one can go to the Father show except through me. The way to follow. Follow. Papa, show me the Direct way. Direct me, O oh God. In a difficult moment and in a difficult act. I don't know the way. Immortal God, I am confused. Abba Father, I cannot lead me to the right way. Immortal Redeemer, I need you to show me the way. Oh, my Lead Lord me to the way of life. Show me the way. Show me the way to please you. Show me the way to believe in you in everything. I am that I am. Have my God is able, abundant able to deliver and to save. My God is able, abundant able, to deliver those who trust in Him. Do you need deliverance? Ask God for oh, deliverance now. My Father. You need deliverance. I need deliverance. I need Deliverance, oh God. Tell God to deliver you from poverty My and wretchedness. Tell God to deliver you from failure and stagnation. Tell God to deliver you from every bondage you are into. From late marriage and barrenness. Papa, I need your deliverance. Lord God, I need me. your deliverance. I am that I am. Deliver me, O oh God, King of Glory, from my family death. Touch me, O God. Deliver me from this grace. Deliver me, immortal Father. Deliver me from my evil. Set us free from backwardness. Set us free from rising and falling. Set us free from sickness, O God. Set us free from spirit of premature and sudden death. From kidney failure. Set us free, 
uncle, from heart attack, from back. any sickness, no one from a family death. Father, please, I come to you, Lord, to set me and my family free, set my father household free. Father, we are in need of deliverance. Father, let your mighty hands touch us, O God, and set us free from every satanic power, from every satanic bondage. Father, I am here for freedom. I am here, O God, to, for freedom. Your word says in your presence are your mouth like wax. In Jesus' name. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. He's the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is the winner man. Jesus is a winner man, winner man all the time. Ask him to direct you. Ask him for direction. Ask him for direction. I need your direction, my friend. So that you will not make this mistake you are about to make. Direct me. I need your direction. This year, direct me. Oh, direct I me this year. my wisdom before you. In all that I do. I submit my understanding to you, O oh ah. Father, I need your direction. Direct me, O oh God, that I, I follow need your the direction, right Lord. Direct me, that I may oh God, walk on so your path. I will not make mistakes. That I may walk Father, on your path. Excellent subject. Of direct me to walk on, your way on the right path. I need the direct me to Lord. choose the right path. Direct me to make a good decision. Help me, Lord, to follow you, O God. Help me, Lord, to follow your footsteps. To follow you, o God. To follow your full step. Have your way in my life. I need you. I need you. I need you to direct me, O God, so that I will not make mistake. I need you, my Father. Help me, Lord. Kala bazu, mala bazu, kala bazu. Into your sanctuary, Jesus. We come to adore you, Lord. Mala bazu. Into your sanctuary, Lord. Adore you. We come to adore you, Lord. I adore you, Lord. In adoration and praise, we glorify your holy name. Into your sanctuary, we come to adore you, Lord. The Bible said that we, with him, that in his presence, that mountain melt like a wax. There are problems, there are challenges, there are trials, there are those things you are passing through that seem to to be like a mountain that have refused to move in your life. You have prayed. You have fasted. And yet, it remained the same. You need a divine force. Ah. Long time problem. Those problems that have to waste so much your life. Ah. As God to melt it. Jesus. As God to melt your every Lord mountain of trouble. Said, oh God, that your presence, Lord, are you melt like As God to melt every long time problem. Whatever that have the worst so much in your life. Problem in my life and father. Ah. Father, hear, oh God, I am in your presence. 
Immortal Redeemer. Daddy, before your presence, O God, may every long time problem begin to melt in your presence. Every long time problem. Every stubborn sickness. My life and family. I command every stubborn sickness. Every mountain of failure. Every stubborn sickness. Appointment. Mountain of every stubborn condition. You unfavorable the condition, condition. Life and family. The and condition that refuses to go. Begin to melt now in the presence of God. Begin to melt now in the presence of God. Begin to melt in the presence of God. I command every mountain by the Holy Ghost and power. Just as the prophet said. This is the day of Ratali. God will move in power again by the anointing. Jesus, greater you. He's not by power. He's not by power. He's not by mind. He's not by mind. By my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed by my spirit. Say Tell the Lord to change the condition. Oh. Tell him the to change every condition in your changer. life. The Tell him to change the story. Father, he, he can God change God the story of your life. Your he can change the story of your my family. Father and my Lord. He can change the story of your destiny. My helper and my maker. Oh, my love Zuma. I am here in your presence. What Lord. are your stories? To change ugly conditions. What are your stories? stories in my life and on my family. Your story could be Father. very horrible. Jesus, you are the master ah. himself. The master of all hopeless cases. When all hope is gone, O oh God, you show yourself mighty. Father, please, in this terrible condition, show yourself in my life and family. Help me, O Lord. That believe and wait upon you. Daddy, we need your help. Oh Lord. We need your help, oh God. I want you to help. We need your help, my father. Help me, oh Lord. Help me. You need the divine help of God. At this hour. Help me. Oh Lord. I need your help me. Help me. Oh Lord. I want to to help me, help me, oh Lord. Kala mm. I need your help. We have no power of our own. I need your help, oh God. Ask God to help you Jesus. out. You are my helper, my Ebenezer. Ask God to help you out. Hey. I need you, O oh God. Papa, I need a way out. You are my helper, O oh God. Papa, I need a way out. O Nina, come, no gambam. Hey, I need a way out. You are the only one that can help me. The help of man is you. You are stagnated. You are talk out. Please help me. Help my family. My brothers and sisters, oh God. Father, we need your help. 
Zion all over the world. Abaku telem giti neke. Help us. Abaku telem giyo ye we mo. No digi ti ozo muere. Oh chimo ala pokwa na mo. Abaku telem giti neke. Aba kutelem gi uyewe Oti gi chiyozo muwele Ochimo arapo kwa namo Papa, our helper, our helper we are helpless at this time. Mm. We are helpless. Oh, Jesus. Our lady, we are helpless. My father, my father. Your children are helpless in their case. Jesus. In their condition. We depend and no on man you. to help. We rely and no on woman you. to help. Ha! My father. How come be metunugi no biyo? Onye we mo, ude mo na suya metu nugi no bi. Onye we mo, akwa nebe metu nugi no bi. Onye we, ude na su metu nugi no bi. Onye we, the doctors are tired. Jesus. The doctors are tired in Jesus. that case. Jesus. Ah. Hey. Your doctor is tired. My father, my father. The option they are giving you is to accept to die. Ay, ah. The master of all hopeless cases. The master himself. You that walk out upon the sea. Ah. There is no impossibilities before you. You that walk out upon the sea, you are the master. No impossibilities before you, O oh God. Behold your people. Their curse, O oh God, is beyond Papa. doctors. Are you not the healer? Are you not the comforter? Jesus. Are you not the restorer? The Are you not the Ogopless mountain mover? Cases. The Ebenezer. Ha! Jesus. Hmm. Hey! Mali Buzundi Nambiko Ogoya Biko Hicha Maya Mele Dimnaya Nambiko Hicha Maya Mele Dimnaya Ezemo Biko Nambiko Papa me, Zebiko, Zukuwa no Zubio, Yamiri, Naya, Zebiko, Icha ma Yamiri, Dem Naya, Zebiko. Father, they don't have any body. The hope of the hopeless. The other day, one boy was crying. He said, God, where are you? One poor boy. There is handcuff in his hand. I was touched. Tears run on my cheeks. The boy said, God, where are you? God, where are you? God, where are you? Many are like asking such a question. 
saying, God, where are you? Ah. Kuni <laughs> Ie ja maladi ke lu isinde no 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 goku ni e Ie ja maradi ke lu isinda na na lo ke habi ko na ku ni e o Ie ja maradi ke lu isinde na chong wa ku ni e nu papa Ie ja maradi ke lu Papa may you arise Arise and show mercy on Zion. Amen. For the hour to show Zion mercy is now. Mm. Papa, show your children mercy. Amen. Break every covenant and agreement that hold them. Amen. Separate them from satanic and family altars. Amen. And they let their affliction go back to the center. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We fight to a patronage. Oh, holy mother of God, despise not our prayers in excess things, but deliver us from all dangers. Ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Surely, surely. Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. My name is Anne Anaba. I'm from Abia State, and I reside in the Republic of Ireland. I'm here to thank God for his faithfulness. On the 6th of November, Daddy prophesied about one of my sons, my second son. Before it, the prophecy came, Emmanuel studied law. He graduated in 2001. And since after that, he was just doing things that we didn't understand. And when we asked him, Emmanuel, can you pursue your career? Mom, Dad, I'm doing something and not a baby but nothing to show. So I came here last year and I, I prayed to God and I asked God to intervene in, my, in his life because a parents will be happy when you train your child and you see him, you know, growing. So on the 6th of November, Daddy prophesied about Emmanuel, our second son. <laughs> Is somebody called Emmanuel. Emmanuel, you are the second son of your family. You are the second son of your father. You are the second son of your father. Emmanuel, you are the one that have the grace to, to liberate your family from wretchedness. You are the one that have the grace to move the family, but you have been under bondage. You don't know what is happening. You have had the years of wasted years. Whatever you put your hand, there will be story. You have never done any successful business before. For. You are into so many things, but achieve nothing. I don't know who is this Emmanuel. You are the second son of your family. I am asked to prophesy your case that your yoke is broken tonight. Amen. That your yoke is broken tonight. Amen. Your yoke is broken tonight. Amen. I don't know what is keeping you bondage from your father's house, from your mother's house. Emmanuel, your case is settled. Amen. Your yoke is destroyed. Amen. In the Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Zion family, after this prophecy, after a week, Emmanuel applied for a job. He came to me, Mom, I applied for a job. I thought it's normal story. He brought his laptop, he showed me, he applied two jobs. <laughs> after a week, he was called for interview. He got the job. As we are speaking, Emmanuel is working, very happy, and I want to thank God for the God of Zion. <laughs> Chimobia goes 